What's up, everybody? Um, how's it going? <laughs> Hope you all had a good day, a couple of days. So, uh, you know, it is what it is with that. Um, shout out to everybody, man. I can't thank you guys enough. Um, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload. Um, man, I ain't do a video yesterday. Man, man, man. My last video, um, that little bankroll builder, you know, that's what I do. You know, if you caught it, uh, like that, like that, like that same game parlay that I uh, did a demonstration. Of course, I'm not going to, I'm going to do a demonstration and, and, and you think I'm going to do a dem demonstration and not play it. Of course. I mean, it only came out to probably plus two or 300, but I hammered it. It hit, I think it was for the first game on slate, which was the, um, Detroit game. And yeah, for sure. So, um, um, <clears throat> it's a lot of things, man. I, mean, I hope you guys have been, you know, listening and taking heed, you know, um, uh, especially like pace up matchups, you know, take yesterday, for instance, you know, how I always preach about pace up matchups and then you have the, um, and then you have the, uh, the, uh, Charlotte Hornets, man, you know. Uh, those are teams that we that we like to target, man. You know, in same game parlays. You know, every time it's not going to work out, but more often than not, it will. And they end up losing that game. But the 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 you know the production was there. You know what I'm saying? Take these players for what they do, and you know leave it at that. You know what I'm saying? You know it's always you know it's plenty added opportunities. You know. For things, you know, in pace up matchups, whether it's rebounds, uh, assists, and, and points or whatever, and don't be afraid to get you get in there with some lower odds and get out of there, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and, and 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 cover. You have to cover. You know, you have to cover yourself. You know, so you know. Another thing I've been always pointing out, and you guys know. Uh, aggressive players against some of these stars, especially these Lakers. Aggressive point guards against these Lakers. You know what I'm saying? Look with De'Aaron Fox. I guess aggressive guards, period. Tyrese Halliburton. Um, Buddy Hill. You see what happened. It was a three-overtime game. They were shorthanded. We knew where the usage was coming from. This is all I always say, man. This is all I will always say, man. And you know what them point guards go in there doing the Russell Westbrook, K. Cunningham, triple double. I mean, you see what Fox did. You see what all these guards are doing, man. You see what uh, Lonzo Ball did. So you know, uh, pick your spots wisely. All everybody is not gonna show up, but pick your spots wisely, man. Tyrese Halliburton went in there and had himself a game. Buddy Hill came on strong at the end. Of course, it was three, three, three overtimes, but it doesn't matter, you know. So uh, let's 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 keep it, man. Let's keep going, man. Let's uh, you know keep this. Let's just keep it going, man. Um, you know that 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 winning muscle. You know if you you know if you if you make you some lower odds, which I know a lot of you all do, and a lot of you all you know don't. But you know the proof is in the pudding. If you like to bet props, man, find something comfortable. You know what I'm saying if you have to bet parlays. Make you some that's comfortable, you know, to, you know, to, 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 it, it can look shitty. But, you know, at the end, at the end, when you, when you cast, it's going to be clean. Now, um, when, when, uh, we have, uh, a 215, 215 over under in this one, uh, um, Golden State favored by three on the road. Uh, these teams played the first game of the season. It was a big one. I mean, Steph Curry had, what he have? Forty five points, and then uh, I think uh, don't quote me, quote me if I'm wrong. Uh, Paul George he almost had a triple double. There's a few things to like about that game. I mean, man. So you know, and a lot has changed since then. You know, a lot has changed since then. You know, the way these teams play, and 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 and, and so on and so forth. So, uh, as this game, I. I I didn't really even I when I just woke up, I mean, you know, or when I targeted this game last night, all I seen was same game parlay, man. So, you know, <laughs> I don't have a I don't have a, a definite prop for this game right here. I mean, like look. You know what these teams do, okay? We got three point props here, all right? You know I like my three point props. Who doesn't? It's a it's a three point shooting league, all right? 
So we got Curry, you know, somebody who I always almost next to never bet on, but, you know, he's been killing it. He's self-explanatory. I don't have to go into that, all right? Now, you got guys like, you know, that are stepping out and shooting a three like Wiggins, okay? Wiggins has hit two threes in, uh, what? He's hit two, two threes in five out of his last seven games, all right? So his three-point prop is sitting there, too. And then you got Jordan Poole. What about Jordan Poole? Uh, his three-point prop is sitting at, uh, over his over-under sitting at two and a half, which is something that I rarely go to. But guess what? He's hit two threes in, um, what, I think I think third, 12 out of his last 15 games. So, I mean, it's a lot to like about that. You know what I'm saying? It might not be pretty, but, you know, the consistency is there in certain areas. If you don't like to go there, then, you know, you can go points-wise. I mean, he's had 14 points or better in uh, five, uh, five out of his last six, but he's averaging 18 points. I don't mind the matchup here. I mean, he's going to be faced with somebody like either uh, – Curry or um, Curry or uh, I mean not Curry I mean um, Reggie Reggie Jackson or or Eric Bledsoe I mean it, it it is what it is you know what I'm saying so it's going to be a lot to like about this game and same game parlays you know so uh, make you some choices wisely make your choices wisely I really like to uh, mess around with the alternates. You know, hopefully they come out a little bit before football because I'll mix up some things. But uh, I'm telling you guys right now, uh, get in there and get you some money and get out. All right. I mean, come on now. Just let's, you know, if you have a book that lets you alternate player props, then, you know, be be my guest, man. Use them to your advantage. Um, interesting play here. You know, it's going to be a game where Marcus Morris is going to crush this prop. OK, it's, it's sitting at 10 and a half. All right. The last time these two teams played, he had 10 points. He hit two threes, okay? His three-point prop is probably is sitting at, you know, minus 150 or whatever the case may be, a lot of juice on it. So, that's you know, it's, it's, it's good for parlays. But it's going to be a time where he's going to crush this prop. All right. Excuse me. His 15 point, his 10 point, his, his 15 point prop is sitting at, um, 270 you know i'm just waiting i'm just waiting one day <laughs> might take an injury or something but you know 20 points for him is uh 980 i'm just waiting to load the hammer on him one day man at 20 point prop but that's neither here or there now i mean if you want a demonstration i mean let's say we find a way to get marcus morris to give us 10 points okay boom you know i could i could drop i could throw that in there all right and then um, I really like to wait till the alternates come out, so I probably won't be going to anybody else. Or I might, and then you know it'll get there at minus one seventy two. And if I went over here to a rebound section, you know, just trying to figure. I do, I don't, I do like to target um, 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 the Clippers in the rebound section. You know, for some reason, you know, it's a possibility that. You know, Subak could probably get ran off the court in this one. They might have to end up going small or whatever the case may be. And then you got somebody like Andrew Wiggins. <clears throat> He's averaging uh, four and a half rebounds a game. He's had four rebounds in uh, four straight games. And, um, you know, I mean, I probably like uh, seven out of his last nine games. He's had four rebounds. So <clears throat> it's going to be painful. But if I was to slide that uh um, two, 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 uh, four rebounds in there for him. That's gonna already put us at plus money. All right, at plus one thirty-five. Then if I say, hey, fuck it, well, let's go down here to six rebounds for Draymond Green. Okay, Draymond Green is averaging um, eight. I mean, um, eight rebounds a game. He's hit this rebound prop, um, and um, he's hit six rebounds. And um, man, I mean, I can't, I can't tell you how many games he hit this motherfucker. I mean, what? I want to say, what, um, 13 out of his last 15 games. So I'm very confident confident in uh, dropping a rebound bomb on him, all right? And then we want to talk about assists. Well, Draymond Green, he's averaging eight assists, okay? So, you know, if, I'm wanna, if, if I want to be safe or something like that, I'll get that at minus 3.30 in same game parlays. I don't mind adding that. Boom. I dropped uh, six assists in that form, all right? So, you know, just, I mean, for these four legs right here, you're going to get it at uh, 
uh, plus money. These are just peripherals. I mean, minus the fact that we have Marcus Morris in there for 10 points. These are just peripherals right here, you know, at plus 300. And then if I said, hey, player threes, we know uh, Reggie Jackson. In this matchup, this is the matchup where we want him to shoot the threes at. Can he hit this three-point prop? Yes. I preach about this all the time. We know he can hit this. Do you want to go there? It is it is on you. Paul George, it's two and a half. Uh, do we know he can hit this three-point prop? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. We do know this. I mean, his last two games, he didn't hit it, you know, so he's been on the dash down slide. But, you know, previous, I'd imagine he's averaging about three threes a game on the season, at least two and a half. So, you know, it's, it's right on par. You know what I'm saying? What, what we're trying to do. Even if you took all three of them for three threes, Reggie, I mean, uh, if you took Reggie and, uh, um, and, 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 and Paul George for three threes, I mean, that comes out to plus 1,000. It's starting to get scary. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I just told you, uh, 12 out of uh, Poole's last 15 games, he hit two threes. I don't really go for his uh, three three-point prop. If I wanted to alter some shit like that, I mean, and just, and just leave it at that, I could. I mean, I could be dirty. I can go Paul George two threes, Reggie Jackson two threes, and um, Jordan Poole two threes, and leave it at that. And then I'll get a plus 674 right here. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and out of um, X amount of legs right here, if I'm feeling froggy or whatever, you know what I'm saying, and be done with it. So those are some of the ways that I'm I'm, I'm going to be ta attacking this game. Uh, I haven't even went, I, notice, I haven't even messed with, you know, the Curries and the Greens. Nobody's point to whatever the case may be because, you know, I mean, you can, you know, you can outweigh whichever one. I mean, if you don't want to go up to all the way 20, 30 points, you know, even if they do get 20, 30 points, you know what they're going to do. They're going to hit two or three threes. So, you know, the odds on these are minus 166 and minus 148. You know, um, you just, you know, in parlays, you have to just, you know, weigh, weigh your options. You know what I'm saying? Like for the point props, I mean, let's see. Um, you know, you have to get, for, for somebody like Paul George, you got to get up to uh, 25 points. You know, Curry, you got to get up to 28 you know, uh, Reggie Jackson is definitely doable, you know, for all these players, but you got to get up to 17. You know what I'm saying? They're not just going to get, you know, these three players that I just named, they're not just going to get uh, uh, 25, 28, and 17 points without hitting at least two or three threes. So the odds, you know, you know, it's, it's a personal preference thing. You know, it is what it is. I'll stop uh, rambling about this, but, uh, you know, that's some – just like a, a demonstration for uh, informational purposes. And then, you know, we can keep it moving. Indiana uh, Pacers at Milwaukee Bucks. I didn't look at this game here. Um, I don't mind the rebound prop over here. What is it? Um, if it hasn't moved. Um, Sabonis. Sabonis rebound prop is sitting at 10 and a half. I don't mind that. There's some juice on it. You know, you know, you can figure it out. Uh but for the most part, I, I was looking at this game, you know, I was looking at the uh I, I, I like the I like Milwaukee Bucks on the road in this one. All right. It, it this one could be a tough game here. Uh what I was really looking at was uh player performance doubles here. So uh and they moved them. Okay. Oh no, they didn't. Here it is in the popular section. So first of all, you'll get a double double for uh a straight double double for DuPont the minus Sabotis at one seventy minus one seventy five. I really don't want to go there. Uh but, you know, where I really was looking at was uh, Chris Middleton, uh, two threes in a win. I mean, I mean, something simple, you know what I'm saying? So uh, I wouldn't mind the double-double, but I'm not going there for ABC, even though the last uh, last time these two teams played, he had like 30. No, I don't know if he got the double. I think he had 30 and nine. Don't quote me on that, but, you know, I like that um, Chris Middleton, two threes in a win. If he doesn't get it, he doesn't get it. But that's one of the props that I've been looking at right there. And I've, I'd, I'd imagine there's a few more props. I mean, uh, I would, I do, I don't mind that um, Grayson Allen. Uh, there's a possibility that, 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 that they might have to put up some points here. So, uh, I mean, I just, it, it, his prop is sitting at three threes in a win at, my, I mean, at plus 320. And he hasn't been, um, his last few games, he hasn't been, you know, uh, hitting the, uh, the threes like we uh, we are, we normally know he does. But uh, yeah, he um, last time these these two teams played, I think he hit three or four. So that's something I was looking at. You know, I, I you know, slightly into uh, uh, Milwaukee in this one. So uh, there we have that. So I can keep it moving. I know it's Sunday. Uh, Boston Celtics at Toronto Raptors. Okay, 
uh, Toronto Raptors are surprisingly home favorites uh, against these Boston. Not surprisingly. I mean, it is what it is, you know. And this is another one of my teams for same game parlays, all right. We know where the usage is coming from on both on, on both teams, okay. Uh, so, <clears throat> y'all know what I'm being ready to go to. If y'all don't know, y'all going to know. <clears throat> Uh, I like to go to the assist prop first and foremost, all right? Uh, so, Marcus Smart, we were getting this at five and a half. Then we started getting it at, uh, we, had, we was getting it, uh, the over-under sitting at five and a half. And uh, he had been crushing that for me, you know? Uh, so, you're going to get that six and a half for plus money right now. I don't mind going there. I mean, he, he he's, he's averaging uh, five and a half assists on the season, but Lately, you know, he's been killing it. I mean, he's hit this proper three, three out of his four. Oh, no, that's six and a half. All right, well, I don't know. But six and a half. He's hit this prop three out of four last game, all right? Even if you want to alter it down to six in some parlays, I mean, be my guess, you'll get that at minus uh, 164. That's, that'll help bolster your, uh, bolster your um, 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 same game parlay. But, yeah, I mean, he's hit it frequently, the six assist prop. Uh, when the alternates come out, and he, even if you want to go down to five or something like that, you'll probably get it at probably minus two ninety, maybe. Don't, don't, don't. You know, I, maybe, maybe it might be a strong three something though. But you know, um, but I do have, I still have some assist, uh, uh, some 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 interest in this assist pop. Injuries for this game, uh, Jalen Brown. It's, we got to keep an eye out on these injuries. It's questionable, okay. And then we got OG and OB and an OB. He's he's questionable. He hasn't played in, in in a few weeks, probably about two weeks. Okay, uh, Dennis Schroeder, he's out for this one. All right, so that's interesting. And uh, Robert Williams, he's 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 out for this one. Okay, um, Gary Trent Jr. All right, uh, we know what he does. He plays a heap of minutes, and you know he's averaging thirty four minutes in, in, in on the season. He's probably averaging about two to three threes a game. Uh, I mean, about 15 shot attempts a game. Um, he's averaging 17 points a game. He's questionable. You know, I think he's closer to doubtful, but he's questionable. Keep an eye out on that. We know Ken Burch is out. He's mo he's missed about two or three games. And then we'll get um, Josh Richardson back. So um, I, I'd imagine Josh Richardson is a possibility that he might stay step into the starting lineup, um, especially if uh, Jalen Brown doesn't go. So uh, it's a lot to look at here. So, you know, uh, Jason Tatum should have a decent amount of uh, usage going for itself. Uh, last time these two teams played, he had three threes. I mean, it's a lot to look at for this in this game, man, you know. So, just like I say with the uh, Toronto side of things, we know where the usage is coming from, all right? We know. We know where the usage is coming from. It's, 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 it's concentrated, all right? So, I'm going to like this one for same game parlays as well. All right. So, we know. We know this. All right. Uh, <clears throat> I always like to touch on the three because I can't let y'all forget. Okay. We got Van, Fred Van Vliet. All right. So, listen here. Fred Van Vliet has hit his 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 his, uh, his, his um his three-point prop is at uh, two and the over-under is at two and a half. Okay. Well, guess what? His last 15 games. You know, he's hit three threes in uh, 13 out of his last 15 games, all right? He's hit three threes. Uh, last time these two teams played, I think he only hit like, well, yeah, he hit four threes the last time these two three, two teams played, all right? He's been putting up some really, really solid lines, you know, <clears throat> I mean, in, 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 in on, 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 on kind of what he does, all right? So his assist prop is sitting at um, – Fred Van Vliet at five and a half. All right. Now he's he's averaging six and a half, okay? But you know, um, he's gonna hit this more often than not. I mean, I mean, I mean, shit. He's hit it like, you know, in like in his last um six, his last eight games, nine, ten, nine, probably ten games, he probably hit this about seven. So uh I don't mind that there. And, and even if you're going down to his four assists prop. I don't know. Uh, I haven't looked at it, but um, four assists for uh, Fred Van Vliet. Now, if you can catch it at a solid five and alternates, I don't mind that. This is one minus one thirty, so uh, it, it'll be going into a parlay for me. But you know, 
uh, that's pretty consistent. All right, you know, you can get you can get uh, Marcus Smart prop and a Fred Van V prop, you know, out there and 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 be done with it. Even in the um a rebound category, he's averaging almost he's averaging five rebounds a game. Okay. So, uh, you know, his rebound prop is sitting at four and a half. And he's been he's, he's he's been right there in that neighborhood. I mean, he's averaging five rebounds a game. He's probably getting a solid four to five rebounds a game. Even if you come down here and alter it, you know, you'll get it at my, minus 170 and uh, player prop parlays, the same game parlays, and do with it as you will, you know. So uh, it's a lot to like, you know what I'm saying. Uh, but, you know, notice I'm only talking about some of these other – some of these uh, – some of these, you know, so a few peripherals because in the points category, we know what we're gonna do. All right, we know exactly what we're gonna do in the points category. You know, Scotty Barnes, Scotty Barnes has been killing it, okay. And I have some interest in that uh, 13 and a half. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it at uh, minus 108. I'm, I'm definitely gonna, um, I'm just gonna have to, I'm just gonna have to hammer it. I mean, we'll have to sprinkle something on it, you know. I'm definitely gonna have to sprinkle something on that uh, Scotty Barnes, all right. And then even if I want to go down to a 10-point platform and, and, and play a parlays, you know, so be it, okay? He's been rebounding the ball very well. He's averaging eight rebounds on the season. Uh, his rebound prop is sitting at <clears throat> um, six and a half, and I do have some interest in, in that, and, 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 and even 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 the six, okay? If I want to go, I'll probably get it at minus two something, but I have some in, in, interest in that too. So it's a lot to like, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't have to go to the Jaden... Uh, uh, Jason Tatum's and everything. You guys know what you're going to do with them. Please keep in mind, take these players for what they do. Keep an eye out on the injury report. If they drop, if they shoot the, if they shoot the three, take them for that. If they drop the, if they drop dimes, take them for that. What we get ourselves in trouble for taking them in, you know, other categories. Um, Sacramento Kings at um, uh, Memphis Grizzlies here. This is, it's going to be another, it's going to be another one. All right. I'm going to go through the injuries for this team, and I'm going to let you guys know the deal. Um, John Morant, we don't have the, we don't have the, um, we don't have the, um, no, nothing out for these guys because we don't, you know, th there's injuries. We don't have no props out. All right. So John Morant, uh, he's out. Okay. Um, Rashad Holmes is out. And then, uh, Harrison Barnes is questionable. All right. So we're going to have somebody like, uh, um, mm, it's gonna be interesting to see who starts, man. I'd imagine the Deont Anthony Milton starts, but you know you can get somebody like Tyus Jones to step in the style lineup. So uh, keep an eye out on that. All right, but you know this is gonna be added extra added usage for everybody to go around. All right, everybody to go around. This is gonna be a. a this is gonna be one of them games for same game parlays, man. That's all I can say, man. I, I I can't even touch on it no more. We don't have no numbers out, but uh, it's a possibility, man. We gonna, I want to see where they put these numbers out for whoever they put on the board. And then last but not least, we have a rematch of the brawl here: the uh, Detroit Pistons at at uh, Los Angeles Lakers. And uh, you know, before I get into it, we got a two sixteen and a half over under. Los Angeles Lakers favored by ten and a half at home. You know, Lakers are going to want to beat up on these guys. You know, uh, you know it is what it is. Y'all know what happened between LeBron James and uh, Stewart. So right off the bat, um, they don't have the Lakers props out. So um, what I want, what I want to do here is um, I want to go over here to the uh, assist prop here. Now uh, we was getting this prop at five and a half. It moved to six and a half at plus one twenty for uh, Cade Cunningham. Um, Barring any foul trouble, I, I think it's just a, you know, I think it's a good spot for him to get to hit this, okay? Um, he's hit it in two out of his last four games, all right? But, you know, he it, you know he, he has hit six assists in uh, seven straight games. Somehow he's been getting there for me, and I, I had him every game, okay? He's hit six assists in seven straight games. You're going to get that six assist prop in, in, uh, at minus 160, all right? So, uh, in, in player prop parlays, you'll get it at minus 60 if you want to go there. It'll help you out in some parlays, you know. You know, if you want to do a two, three legger or something, it can help you out. But, uh, you know, uh, the matchup is there. The matchup is there. Uh, so, you know, it is what it is. 
Um, that's the only thing that I scoped from this game here. Uh, it'll be interesting to see when the alternates come out. If you can, if you even want to go down to a five, you know. But you know, it is what it is. Uh, yeah. So um, it's a lot to like about this slate. You know, anytime it's basketball, it's a lot to like. Um, you know, we we can always go out there and you know find some money. So uh, with that being said, man, peace, guys, man. I'm out.